Bug! Oh. Just a... You stupid son of a bitch! Well, fuck me two ways from Sunday. There is still time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues now! Earl gave the statues to Chester. Excellent. Excellent. I don't watch Simpsons, so bugger off. Now I can use the power of these statues to hurt all of Palestine Castle into the darkest depths of hell. I hardly need to say it at this point, but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. Now, I've beaten you in the past, so, you know, I can do it again, as long as the cutscene doesn't take over. Oh, dokey. After everything you've done. I can't believe Chester attacked Dogu. This is all my fault, actually. Oh. Twelve years ago, I served as a Valestine knight. I was on Jealous Island that day. All the knights were. Our task was to provide backup for Maguire's sorcerer. In other words, we were to man the sidelines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. And we did just that. Well, you didn't. Because Elena and Chester did. And then I met the Stoddart children. And despite my sworn oath to Maguire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. I hid them instead and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them, so I left them with the mayor! And shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. How do you know God has forsaken it? I spent my days slowly unravelling Maguire's plans and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalan. Chester never knew of my knighthood, but he was well aware that I'd saved his life so he and Dogie would often visit. And as such, while secretly investigating Maguire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. Oh good, that's a lovely thing to teach people, isn't it? War. What is it good for? Death. Dogie's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Felgana, Chester came to see me in quite a panic. The monsters had brought his memories of Genos Island to the surface and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything, every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done with in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis, what a silly word. But it's got a cat in it, so I guess it's alright. But all it did was exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. Exacerbate, what a silly word. But it's got bait in it, as in masturbate, so it's okay. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. Well, I do. As he just told us, but if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, I doubt there's much hope of talking him down. If we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. Adol, I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything has happened. You need to worry, I'll take care of Dogie and once he's back on his feet I intend to pay the castle a visit. Yeah, that's a good idea, it's got good music there. Oh, back to the music land. But no, I'm buggering off now. Whoa! Oh dear, what's happened here? Excuse him, I know we're in a bad way. Bit dead, yeah. We were attacked by soldiers from Valestine, and some of them made it inside. Hurry, you need to save the townspeople. Well, at least he didn't die as soon as he finished talking to me. Oh, you fucks. Oh, Elaine, I'm scared. It's okay, I'm here with you. Yeah, that'll help. Please do what you want with me, but let her go. No, I'm here. Adol? And a... And a... Well, they're easy, aren't they? No. Oh, dear. Ah, yes, they are. Ugh. Get out of my town. I've got stuff to upgrade and buy. No, not buy. I've bought it all, actually. Thanks for saving me, Mr. Adil. 
You truly are a lifesaver, thank you, Adol. But why? Why would the Valastone soldiers attack us? Because shit is going down. Adol, what's wrong? You look even more flustered than we are. It's because I've seen you down on your knees. It turned me on. Uh, yeah, it did. Adol reluctantly told her that her brother had stabbed Ogi in the Elder Mountains. No, he stabbed him in the belly or something. Not in his mountains. My God! Why? Why would he ever do that? Are you two okay? Who's that? Oh. Everyone. Oh, what happened to Edgar? He's dead. Sister now, Papa and Father Pierre. You too. Oh, two. Not you two. When we realised you were out of the church, we panicked. Thank God you're alright. No, thank me. Thank me. Why is it always thank God? I'm the one who killed the knights. We wouldn't be if it weren't for Adol. Yeah, cheers. I'm sorry, sister. I know you told us to seek shelter. Honestly, you'll be the death of us one of these days, Elena. No, no, sister, no. She was clearly just trying to find Anya. We could hardly blame her for that. Ugh. I still can't believe the guy's grown so brazen, though, as to send his soldiers to attack the town. Well, best start believing, because he did. I think it may be worse than that, actually. Did you get a good look at them as they attacked? Something about them seemed off. Disturbingly so. They seemed a bit wobbly. None of them spoke a single word, and their movements were like those of wooden dolls dangling from strings. What the shit, Lord? Mm, no, you mention it. We're not safe here. We should return to my house to further discuss the matter and propose a course of action. I wonder if they're the skeletons that attacked Genos Island in armour. So we can't see their skeletons. Now you might be thinking, Paul, you've played this before. Thanks for spoiling it. But no, I don't bloody remember. I'd like for you to come as well, Adol. But like, since I'm actually reading it, I'm kind of semi-paying attention to the story. So that's just my guess so far. Uh, what's that? There's like a there's a thing on the wall up there at the top right. I can't tell what that is. It's like a pair of wings on a plaque. Whatever. I had no idea Chester was hiding a secret like that all this time. He lived under my roof for ten years and never once did I question where he came from or how much he remembered. I feel like such a fool. Please don't blame yourself, Maya. Right now, we need to focus on the matter at hand. We need to focus on Valestine Castle. What we know is that Chester's plan to take his revenge through the power contained in those statues. Question is, are those statues in some way responsible for the lifeless, soulless appearance of our attackers? It seems that way, does it? <laughs> How do you know? I think now will be a good time to get in touch with Bishop Nicholas at the castle. Excuse me? Who's that now? Oh, you again. Sister, what's wrong? You're white as a ghost. The soldiers haven't returned, have they? No, they died. No, it's just that I haven't seen Elena for some time now. And when I asked the children where she went, it seems she's left town again. Why would she do that? What a dumb... What? Well, that's not good. She must have heard about Chester and gone to Valestine Castle. Can I go rescue her from Music Kingdom? Yes, I think that's a safe assumption. It's an awfully rash thing to do, even, though, even for her. Adol, would you mind going to save her? Dear me. Adol, I'm sorry to ask. No, no, sure, I will do it. Anything to go there. But won't you please find Elena and bring her home to us? I can't bear to think of what might happen to her out there. She'll get humped by wolves. Bondage wolves. No, they're at the ruins, not the castle. Without hesitation, Adol agreed. Oh! Suddenly Naruto music. You'll do it. Thank you, Adol. Thank you so very much. We're truly in your debt, Adol. I hate well, that we've become such a burden to you since your arrival here. Can't imagine what you must think of us. What? How are you a burden? I came here to adventure. Good speed on your journey. I pray for your health and success. Best of luck to you, Adol. Yeah, cheers. I don't need it. I haven't used any luck so far. I don't need to now. Has she left anything behind for me? No. Quick! Run! 
There's no time to explore houses, we gotta go save the love interest. Why are you still here? The young blonde girl left the town not too long ago. She looked rather distracted, but cute, definitely cute. Sigh. Anyway, I need to get out of here so I can collect more ravel, but the gardener fellow wants me to wants to keep me in. Can't blame you, I suppose. But if monsters invaded the land, oh, I hate for God so much right now. Yeah, who doesn't? Me, because it's a good place to be. Oh, there's only two left, but where am I going to find them? I've bought everything. Yeah, maybe I'll get some in the castle. Oh, I can get another one. I thought I got the only one available. Well, gosh, land. Hey, let's check on Gardener first. You all right? Oh, that's Dewey. Thought you so much for saving my daughter, Adol. I couldn't bear it if anything were to happen to her. I've made up my mind. Don't know what the count is after, but I do know one thing. Valestine Castle is the enemy. My choices are to fight back or sit around and wait for the death to find me, and I'm not that fond of the latter. I'm going to blaze my own trail, just like you. Ah. Oh. Verb. Luckily I have this convenient handy dandy teleport mobile. Hey guys. Wait. Wait just one moment. I wanna... I don't know exactly where it was, but I want to find out. 